everyone. In this Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, I'm going to show you how to use the Profiler. So what is the Profiler? The Profiler is a tool that we can use to get geometry right from a solid. I can either extract this edge or edges from the solid and get some geometry that I can create a solid model with, or I can use this to machine directly on the solid. Let's get started. The profiler is up here in the toolbar, and we have several different choices. We have the slice plane, which we'll get back to. We have a spun body, which cuts the solid and spins the geometry along a horizontal axis. We have a silhouette, and we also have a slice cylinder. Right now, we're just gonna concentrate on the spun body. Now, a couple things we can do here. Um, I want to create a solid, so what I'm going to be able to do is select the profile here. I'm going to extract geometry, and I'm going to create a solid, offset it, and uh, make it stock so that we can come and machine. Then we're going to come back, and we're going to machine this using the profiler, not geometry. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do that. So let's just extract this profile here, and I'll switch off the profiler so that I have uh, just the geometry there and let's go ahead and open up our solid modeling palette and we'll do a revolve here 360 degrees I'll just grab this geometry we'll say do it and there you have it I've created a solid okay easy let's go in and let's uh, take this solid that we just created and let's offset it Let's say by 50 thou. So now we've created a piece of stock, um, a solid model that we can use for a piece of stock. So let's uh, just select it. I'm going to change the body type to stock. And I'm going to double click that and put that away in the body bag. Because Gibbs remembers that it's stock, so we don't have to worry about it being out on the screen. So I'm going to switch off the geometry and we'll turn back on the profiler. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use the profiler here to machine this part, okay? So let's go to a view that we can see a little bit better. Let's open up our tools and our processes. And here what I want to do is we're just going to cut uh, the OD here. So I'll bring down my tool, and we'll do a roughing process, and we're going to do OD. And we are going to use material only because we created a piece of stock so we don't have to worry about a lot of things and I'm just going to click on the profile as I would normally start and end which direction I can drag the markers around and I'll say do it and you'll notice here that I get my toolpath now we only get toolpath there because we created a stock model by using material only it's very efficient to create toolpath only where we need it so that makes it really really nice so let's come down in here and let's do the ID and we'll rough the ID out again. Okay, I'll go back to a home view, just makes it easier for me to see. Uh, we'll pick the ID geometry on the profiler and we'll say do that and there you go. So the spun shape is a very nice tool to get a spun shape around any horizontal axes in any coordinate system. So it's very nice. All right, so what I want to do now is talk about the slice plane because what I want to do is cut these pockets. So I switch to the slice, slice plane and I'm going to change the coordinate system to the XY. Now with some of the profiles, you can actually drag them around. Some are locked in the center, some are not. This one here, I can drag around until I get the profile that I want. And this is what I want to cut right there. So I'll bring down my tool and I'm just gonna do a roughing process. I can set where I wanna start, where I wanna go. Um, I set my desired step and we're gonna use the stock. And in this case, I have six slots. So I'm gonna to switch to my rotary tab and I'm gonna say, you know, duplicate this five times at 60 degrees. I'll select my geometry on my profile there and I will say do it and just like that I'm easily able to get 
toolpath that I desire. Okay, so the profiler offers us some very nice functionalities. Not only can we use it to extract geometry, but we can also use it to cut directly on a solid. So let's go ahead and look at that in the OpSim real quick. And we will just run this. We'll slow it down a little. We'll come in and we'll machine our part very quick, very easy using the profiler. Okay, I hope this was informative for you. Remember, if you have any questions, comments, please contact your local Gibbs Cam reseller. Thanks, and have a great day.